Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to perform and explain the tornado in a bottle experiment. As you can see here. So the materials you'll need today are one of these nifty bottle connectors. Um, and then two 2 liter plastic bottles without their labels on. And then you'll also need some water in the bottle. So, the way that this experiment is performed is you have to flip the bottles quickly, spin them up, and then watch as the vortex kind of just forms for you, the tornado. I think you can see pretty clearly how it funnels out and it works pretty consistently. There you go. It's an even better one. And from the side angle, as opposed to the angle that you guys are getting, you can even see the hole in the middle. So, and the next thing I want to show you for the purpose of explaining is what happens when you don't do that. Okay. So that time the vortex formed by itself. Because sometimes if you flip it quickly enough, it will form by itself. So I'm going to do a real slow flip over. Just so you can see what I'm So you can see how slowly the water falls out. So whenever water is being forced to go through a small hole, both the water has to go out and the air has to come in, in one of these enclosed spaces like this. So the benefit of a vortex is that the hole from yeah, it's never going to work to show you, but you can see it when you do it. A hole formed in the middle acts as a passageway for air from the bottom bottle to go up into the top one, and then all the water comes in around it. So this allows for the air and the water to go through at the same time, as opposed to in this scenario, in which the air and the water have to take turns. And right now it's the air. I move it a little bit so more water will come out. And if I spin it, it'll vortex. And you do have to spin it a little bit aggressively, I will say that. But I do think this is one of the cooler looking experiments. So that's the vortex that you're looking at. You can give them some real life examples, such as in the bathtub. When you start to near the end, the tub's water starts to vortex as well. And you can see it, the vortex. But the other thing is um, dust storms and cyclones, they all work the same way. The air all comes up from the bottom and it um, places itself in the middle and then everything else collects around it. With the cyclone, it's water, and with the dust storm, it's dust. Alright, well, I hope this helped you both perform and explain the experiment. And remember, if the water gets stuck on you, or it's just spurting out like this, just give it a good spin, and you should get your nice cyclone. Alright, thank you guys for watching.